नॉर्टन्स थेरम क्वेश्चन यूजिंग नॉर्टन्स थेरम फाइंड द नॉर्टन इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्किट एंड ऑल्सो फाइंड द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द लोड वेन द लोड इज अ फाइव ओ होम्स रजिस्टर हेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू फाइंड नॉर्टन इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट फॉर दिस सर्किट सल्यूशन सो टू फाइंड नॉर्टन इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड नॉर्टन करंट सो टू फाइंड नॉर्टन करंट टू फाइंड नॉर्टन करंट आई एन वी हैव टू शॉर्ट सर्किट टर्मिनल ए बी This will be our step number वन Short circuit short circuit terminal AB. Now here, if we short circuit terminal AB. then this will be our current i n now here we can see if we short circuit terminal a b that time this 10 ohm resistor will be zero so again we can copy this circuit and we can remove this 10 ohm from here now you can find the value of this current i n which is the current flowing through this 8 ohm so by using current division rule by using current division rule first of all we have to find the value of this current let's say this current is current i now here we can see this 8 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in parallel so the resistance value will be or we can directly find the value of current i i is equal to v by r the value of voltage is 20 so 20 divided by the value of resistance r so resistance r will be total equivalent resistance it will be this 4 ohm plus and these are in parallel so it will be 4 into 8 divided by 4 plus 8 so this will be 20 divided by 20 divided by 4 plus 4 into 8 divided by 4 plus 8 so it is 3 ampere the value of this current is 3 ampere now we can use current division rule so here we have to write this current division rule here now current division rule i n is equal to this current that is i current i and current i is 3 ampere so 3 multiplied by opposite branch resistance is 4 ohm so 4 divided by 4 plus 4 plus 8 so this will be 3 into 4 divided by 4 plus 8 so it is 1 ampere the value of norton's current is 1 ampere i n is equal to 1 ampere now next we have to find norton's resistance step number 2 find norton's resistance 
Now to find Norton's resistance Rn. We have to turn off all the independent sources. So here this is our circuit. Now here we can write to find Rn turn off all independent independent sources. Now here there is only one independent source and that is a this voltage source. So when we turn off the independent voltage source that time it will be short circuit. We have to replace this by its internal resistance. So it will be short circuited and this will be our resistance Rn. So this will be our resistance Rn. Now here we can see this 4 ohm and this 4 ohm are connected in parallel. Now we will simplify this circuit. So this 4 ohm and this 4 ohm connected in parallel. So this will be of 2 ohm. When two resistance of same value are connected in parallel that time we have to write its parallel equivalent will be half of it. So it will be 2 ohm. Now this 2 ohm and this 8 ohm are connected in series. So it will be 10 ohm. So this will be 10 ohm. Now this 10 ohm and this 10 ohm are again connected in parallel. So its equivalent will be 5 ohm. This will be of 5 ohm. Now we got the value of Rn. Rn is equal to 5 ohm. So here we can write Rn is equal to 5 ohm. Now we have the value of Norton's resistance and Norton's current. So we can draw Norton equivalent circuit. So for Norton equivalent circuit there will be a current source in parallel with Norton's resistance. So this will be IN and this will be RN. RN is equal to 5 ohm. And here IN is equal to we got the value of IN as 1 ampere. So this will be IN is equal to 1 ampere. So this is Norton's Norton's equivalent circuit. Now next what we have to do and this will be terminal A and this will be terminal B. Now next is what we have to do also and also find the current flowing through the load when the load is a 5 ohm resistor. So here we have to add the load and find the current through it. So load resistor will be of 5 ohm. So 5 ohm. Now we have to find this current that is IL. Now to find this current IL we can use current division rule. So by using current division rule by using current division rule we can find the value of IL. So IL will be equal to this current 1 ampere multiplied by opposite branch resistance that is 5 ohm divided by 5 plus 5 5 plus 5 so therefore IL will be 1 multiplied by 5 divided by 5 plus 5 so it will be 0 0.5 ampere so therefore current IL is equal to 0 0.5 ampere so this is our final answer for this question.